Hello and welcome to the second in my series of, uh, of checking out this little Ronco Showtime rotisserie and barbecue. Today I'm going to make some pork chops. Um, it's not usually something I do in an oven entirely. Usually I would, you know, cook them in a cast iron frying pan, get a nice uh, crispy outside. And then depending on how thick the chop is or whether it has a bone or not, I might finish it in the oven. Today we're just going to do it in the oven. Uh, let's see what happens. Let's get into it. So today we're going to be uh, making some pork chops. I've had these chops uh, sitting in a can of adobo sauce that I uh, thoroughly pulverized and made a paste. Um, I don't know how well that's going to work. It's probably going to drip off and drip onto the drip tray. I'm kind of challenging the machine a little bit. I'm certainly not going to be able to just impale the chops on these here spits. I'm going to have to actually use one of the baskets. And uh, that'll be interesting. Let's see how that works. As a little mechanism for releasing it from the... Uh, from the main body of the basket. There's actually several uh, tiers of, of positioning, so you can actually um, adjust how wide or, or deep your basket is. Interesting. So the lid, I want to put in this side first. And then pull this back. And so the basket's more or less squeezing those chops and locking them in place. Now you can see these little uh, guides on the basket. Those actually align with the spits. And there we are. Now, all I gotta do, set it, and forget it. All right, let's check her out. All right, as you can see, manipulating this thing can be a bit of a challenge. Unfortunately, my fears have come true and all of my adobo sauce has fallen off of my pork chops as this thing was spinning around. Because I'm sure some of you at home are like me and sometimes you're lazy and you gotta just, you know, you've got a pork chop to cook. You've done nothing with it. So you're just gonna put barbecue sauce on it and throw it in the oven. Well, this is the equivalent of that and well, we've lost most of the sauce. There's still a bit on the top. I'm only getting around 145. I'm going to put these in for a bit more. Easier said than done. Another five minutes will do the trick. Alrighty, that should be good. Make sure to space your cutting board away from the door of the showtime. So 
slowly but surely I'm getting the hang of this fucking thing. Anyway, five minutes. I got my chops with no sauce on them because it's all dripped off. This basket's made of thin steel. It cools pretty quickly. Before I dig in, I just have to say, after using this machine twice, um, I'm totally hypnotized. Completely hypnotized by the damn thing. You can't stop looking at it. It's like that slow TV that's all the rage in Scandinavia. I love it. I finally understand why Ron called it the showtime because it really is a show. It brings you to the movie and the dinner. It's kind of awesome. Now, these chops, you know, I joked about there's no sauce on them, but there's a little bit of sauce on them. Oh, there's the bone. These were in there for 25 minutes. They're looking good. Cook evenly. It's a good chop. Would I um, rather do this than, you know, cook it in the cast iron? Absolutely not. I think the basket, to get these things in and out of the basket, that whole thing is just absolutely silly. This rotisserie probably works great for things like a roast or for a whole chicken, but for something like a pork chop, that's overkill. Just do it in a pan or in a toaster oven.